They found a black bear in the Chattahoochee Forest on Blood Mountain. Those are all real places. And the bear had consumed what they thought was about 70 pounds of cocaine. The bear could have really interesting behavior because it's high on cocaine. So yes, it's gonna be real and as real as we wanna make it, but we had a little leeway to play with the bear's behaviors because no one's ever seen a bear that's high on cocaine. That was sort of like the bear's superpower, if you will. You know, the magic that we could literally sprinkle onto our bear. I think the movie has 17 characters and 11 of them die. And every death couldn't be a bear attack. You know, we had to upgrade each death. I wanted to surprise the audience. I wanted to make sure that we didn't repeat ourselves, that everything built to something else. And it was really important to me that we show the fallibility of the humans in the story that this bear is not the big problem here. The humans are the problem. One of the other things that's always going on in the movie is who has the information that the bear's high on coke and who doesn't. And when, because once you have the information, you know to be really afraid of the bear. And if you don't have the information or you don't believe the information, then you're in trouble. Carrie Russell, I just knew from my past experience with her, from everything she's done in film, that she would enjoy the tone of the movie, but she would play it totally straight. And that you would just want to root for her and that the audience just loves her. I mean, who doesn't love Carrie Russell? All the way back from Felicity, you know? And that she also was gonna be, had the strength physically to do all the physical things in the movie and, and really be like an action heroine, which is something I love seeing her do. And she gets to sort of play with just enough in this movie. Ray Liotta is one of the best actors I've ever worked with. I'd worked with him on a small movie, The Details, many years ago. He came to set, he blew my mind. I mean, he's one of the all-time greats. I felt like it was a huge get to get Ray to come do the movie. I felt so lucky he remembered working with me. He knew, he, tr he trusted me from minute one. It was such a gift to me as a director, especially as a female director trying to make a big CGI action comedy movie. I mean, that he trusted me with everything and that he was so game for everything. And guess what? He's funny too. We all saw the same thing in the script. And you have to remember, this is not a script that everybody like reads and is like, that's a sure thing. You know? <laughs> it's pretty intensely specific what this movie is. And um, I just felt like uh, I never was going to worry about, you know, not being on the same page about tone or jokes and that they were going to be very additive as producers in terms of pitching on the script and, you know, the characters and the casting and all that. I just, I think they have impeccable taste. I'm an absolutely ginormous fan of theirs. I loved working with them and I, I knew that this would be a positive experience because of all that and it was, you know, they were nothing but super supportive the entire time. I just feel so lucky to have had them in my corner. I hope that audiences feel the movie lives up to the title. Cocaine Bear is a lot to live up to. And um, whatever you think it's gonna be, it's everything and more.